12 18 a.m august 30th 2023 and as you can see here my driveway is empty i had a incident what would you call it <laughs> my car broke down when i was going to work this morning this today actually it was this afternoon because it was 12. And so on the way to work, I'm on the interstate too, so I'm driving like 65 miles an hour. All of a sudden I hear this weird noise. And next thing I know, boom, lights come on and it says charging station, check charging station. And then I lost power steering and my engine started overheating all at the same time. So I was like, immediately, I was close to a next exit. So I got off on the next exit because I had no steering. So I could barely move the wheel. And I, I got off the exit. And then there was a gas station just about a block or two away. So I pulled in there and got out. It didn't seem like it was overheating that bad. But what happened was I lost my serpentine belt. So... I was like, oh no. And I was only two miles away from work too, so I had to tell them, and she says, don't worry about it, you know, get your car fixed. But that's not the problem. I lost money because I didn't get to go to work, so that's not good. And then uh, I had to, the gas station, I asked them, I said, can I leave this sit here for a little while? You know, I'm gonna have someone try to fix it or get it, you know, towed out of here. And they said, well, if 24 hours, and if it's still here, we'll have to tow it. I'm like, oh, thanks a lot. So then I decided to move. Oh my goodness, hold on. All right, sorry, so I had to move indoors. There's a giant spider on my door going into the house. So I kind of broom and smashed it. At least I think I did. I don't have any any remains of it so I don't know if I actually got it but I don't know where it could have went and I'm all paranoid about that all right anyway where was I um <clears throat> so oh yeah the the gas station gave me 24 hours to get it moved so I was afraid of it being towed that you know the mechanic might not be able to, to get to it or I might not be able to tow it out of there in time so uh, I moved it over to the parking lot next door where was, there was a lot of room and, and I don't think they would have towed it from there. So, But the mechanic finally got to look at it tonight uh, and then he tried to drive it back to his place which wasn't far away. My friend was warning me not to do it because it would overheat. But I thought, you know, it could probably go five miles. After it was, you know, sitting so it wasn't hot, it could have made it, I thought. But he was like, you're going to blow your engine. So I didn't do it. So, But he did it, and then the battery died on the way there. But that's what happens. When you lose a serpentine belt, uh, you lose, you lose the, uh, the battery starts draining, and then you lose power steering, and then the engine starts to overheat so this has happened four times now four times with the serpentine belt so then uh later on we asked how you know what he thought and he didn't really get a chance to look at it but he said that the ac compressor broke off so i was i'm not exactly sure uh how bad that is it did not mean it broke off but still could be put back on and be okay or did it break off and now you know, I have to get a brand new AC compressor? So, I don't know, I didn't get, I wanted to get more details, but my friend talked to him and I don't know, he was kind of vague and he said he didn't get much of a chance to tell me tomorrow, I guess, so I have to wait till tomorrow. But if it's a new AC compressor again, which just got replaced for the third time now, this, well, it's already happened twice, this would be the third time. And the first guy, I remember, the, that was a big story too, the guy that, you know, that got in trouble and everything, Bob, he uh, 
put it in the first time and immediately the serpentine belt kept coming off <clears throat> and one time it shredded it one of the bolts that was holding up the AC compressor was was loose and it was tearing into the, the belt so this might this is what might have happened again but this time the belt was just gone and I you know I've looked at it here and there and it didn't look like it was starting to you know uh, shred or anything so it just it was gone completely so I'm like oh so the serpentine belt was 50 bucks already but um, at least he got it to his house so I don't have to have it towed but I still might have to have it towed anyway now the last time I got uh, an appraisal for just the AC compressor itself it was a thousand dollars now this mechanic does stuff for cheaper but even if it was half price it'd be 500 altogether probably be about 600 after the serpentine belt too and there's no way I can afford that so my friend says he might help and you know, I might be able to get some help somewhere else but I don't know if I can and if it even if I could then I'm gonna be in debt and I don't know how I can I'm barely you know making as it is I was finally getting to where I was you know I didn't miss any days of work this is the first day of work I missed in a while and I was starting to get where I was caught up and a little bit ahead but now that went down the tubes so please say a prayer um, I have to just trust in God that you know this will work out it's just the same the same thing keeps happening with this car and you know I've already put in twenty five hundred dollars in this thing thirty five hundred for the car twenty five hundred in repairs it's actually a little bit more than that and now this so I can't really afford anything really but if somehow if it's just a you know just if he can just replace the serpentine belt and then I if I can not use the you know because I thought what happened with the AC compressor was that was for the air conditioning and then if you used it when it wasn't working or if you know if it was if it wasn't working right then that's when all that stuff happens that's what happened last year put the AC compressor in and but it didn't work right so I just didn't use the air conditioning and I was fine and I made it through the whole summer made it through the whole winter and then uh, I remember I think it was the same mechanic but I'm not positive and uh, last year I put in too much Freon in and I couldn't use it maybe it was maybe it was at the end of last year I don't or last summer because I don't remember I was I didn't use it after he said oh it's fixed oh I can use the air conditioner next year which I used this year and it was fine all the way up until today and the air conditioner did work good for until today but I don't know I remember somebody saying that the the AC compressor was loose there was one bolt that was loose but it tightened the other three bolts and said oh this thing is never gonna move for the life of your car it's in there for good but I don't know apparently it didn't but I don't remember exactly who did it but I, th I think it was him because he was the one that said oh you're I just let out some of the Freon and you're good and he, you know, I just put too much Freon in <clears throat> and then it worked but when I remember when I put it in, it was making all those noises. So I thought, oh no, it's, you know, it's not going to work. And then I don't, I can't use the air conditioner. But then he fixed it. I can't remember. I can't remember though. I don't know. But anyway, I guess I'll give you an update tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll know more. Uh, I don't know. But this could be very bad if if it's expensive. And I got a friend that's going to take me to work, but I don't think he's going to want to take me to work every day, you know, for the next six months. <clears throat> and I don't know how I'm going to earn enough money to be able to, to, you know, to pay for this. So I don't know what I'm going to do. But let's hope and pray that it's something very minor. If he can just put the serpentine belt on, he probably wouldn't charge me hardly anything at all. I already paid for the 
the parts. So it probably wouldn't take much to put it on. Maybe, you know, as long as it would be under 100, I could do that and be okay, I guess. It would be 150 altogether. Ugh. I just got done paying rent, too. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, just got to put faith in God. He's always got me through everything. So I'm hoping you know everything will work out again this time. Say a prayer. Love you guys. God bless.